Silence for me, it's like the, the soil of creation. It's like the source of creation. So if there would be no silence, there would be no creation. The absence of silence or the lack of silence is a huge problem meanwhile. All of us like running around with earplugs and things like this. Or in every place you are, like in, in the public, you always hear music. Always so-called music. So it's like recorded music, it's come like with electric impulses. I won't call this music anymore because for me the, the presence of the human and the presence of the space between humans. This is a very important element of music. If this isn't there, I wouldn't even call it music. I would like um, to share how much I'm suffering about this, you call it um, um, sound pollution. All the acoustic trash we are producing every day was produced by machines, how it is damaging our senses, damaging our souls. The sickness of our culture has a lot to do with people not sensing themselves. I love the silence because I, this gives me the, the opportunity to to really deeply feel, to deeply sense something. Feel myself, sense the other one, sense the relation to the others, sense the relation to my, to my surrounding. My experience, especially with people coming into my studio and uh, getting in touch with my very unique or even simple instruments, is that as if they were longing for this moment to get in touch with music making again. This was taken from them by judgments, for example, yeah, saying you're not good enough, you're not skilled enough to play an instrument. I think it's like, I call it a human right, an essential human right to be active in making music. And this is what I love, this is what I want to share, and this is what I wanted to spread in the world, that everybody is like able to make music and, and it's so helpful, so healthy. The sounds, they're, they're reaching every cell, because it's transmitted from cell to cell.
And a silence after a nice sound, a good sound, or a good end of sound is such a precious thing.